Hey, when you do something like this, I think that the first instinct is to try and say something funny. But the past 15 months have been so hard and so difficult for so many people that I'm going to dispense with trying to be funny and just say thank you because what you did by sharing the music and fostering a sense of community and giving people something to look forward to, fantastic music on Saturday nights and so many laughs. It was just a wonderful thing. So I'm just going to say thank you, uh, Yorma and Jack and Vanessa and Myron and Hurl and Izzy and Andy. Uh, love you all. Um, it, it has been so much fun and really given so many people uh, something to look forward to during a time that just sucked. So thank you, and I'm looking forward to seeing you guys at live shows soon and coming out to the ranch in November. And the only thing left to say is, yikes. Peace. Hey, Yorma, Tony here. Hey, man, uh, from the airplane, Hot Tuna, Blue Country Heart, right through the quarantines. Man, you've uh, you've helped make my stay on this rock uh, more pleasant than it might have been otherwise. So thanks for all that. And over the last year, most days I didn't know what day it was, but I knew when it was Saturday. So thank you for that. Keep going, man. Love you. Walt Hetfield here, and I'm speaking for Roz, Matz, and myself. Just want to say how much the uh, FPR concert streams have meant to us. We've seen all 50 of them, archives and all, uh, free <laughs> Yorma, Hot Tuna. Shows are always a big perk. Seeing John Hurlbutt brought into the mix is great. Jack's little vignettes that he's played out in California have been fabulous. Um, it's become our Saturday night ritual. We just want to thank you for helping us through this catastrophe. Thanks. Hi, everybody out there in Radio Dreams Dream Land. I'm Melissa Haynes Champion, and I have not missed a single quarantine concert because they keep me sane. And I have loved John Curl, but for 35 years, and I'll love him for another 35 if he'll have me. Quarantine concert number one, tuned in. You have no idea what to expect. And it occurred to me that this is kind of like a Woodstock moment. And what I mean by that is when you're involved in the moment, you have no idea that it could actually be history in the making. Anyways, from quarantine concert number one, all the way through 49, been here every week. And I think the one thing that really stands out is I had no idea of the depth of Yorma's catalog. It's been great. Great experience. The production is phenomenal. And want to thank Yorma, Vanessa, John, and all the Fur Peace Ranch crew, and all the chat buddies. Paul, it's been great. Thank you very much. And Miss Ginger here says, more Chester, please. Hi, Yorma, Vanessa, everyone at Fur Peace Ranch and in Radio Dream Streamland. I just want to say thank you for helping me get through this pandemic for the last 60 weeks. Um, every vault show and quarantine concert stream has really been the highlight of every week and given me something to look forward to. You've created quite a community here, all based on Yorma's magical music, and I'm so grateful to be a part of it. Thanks. Well, the saying goes, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. And Yorma and the gang at the Fur Peace Ranch, you guys are truly warriors. You kept the music alive all year. It's fantastic. Uh, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Peace. Thanks, Yorma, Vanessa, John, 
and everybody else at Fur Peace that put together these concerts. You can't imagine what a respite it's been for us, away from the stressful events of 2020. We've been watching Hot Tuna and Jefferson Airplane for a long, long time. As a matter of fact, I went to my first concert in May of 1970 at the University of Wisconsin Fieldhouse. But what we found particularly interesting was the banter that took place in between the wonderful music. It humanizes people that we've admired for so long. We look forward to the fact that you'll be getting back on the road again and we'll be able to go out and see you live. But we enjoyed what we've seen and we appreciate what you've done. Thank you. The last concert I saw before COVID was at the Fillmore. Hot Tuna. Um, these concerts have meant everything. They filled my soul. They filled my heart. I love the humor. Thank you so much, Jack and Yorma. Thank you so much, Vanessa. Thank you. Yikes. 30 seconds to explain what uh, the last year of the quarantine series has meant to me personally. Uh, can only be explained on the vinyl. 54 years of your gifts, Jorm, and I finally got to see you down at the Vinosky Winery uh, tour uh, back on May 4th. It was uh, actually on the anniversary 51 years after the Kent State shootings. It has been a long, strange trip indeed. Uh, just keep it up down there. Everything you guys do at the First Peace Ranch, I'd love to get down there and see you sometime. Uh, it's been a long time since I was in Athens. Uh, and everyone out there on Radio uh, Dream Streamland, keep listening, keep watching. God bless, and see you down the road. Hi, guys and gals. I'm Yorma. Actually, I'm David in Chicago. Thank you, Yorma, Vanessa, John, the crew. Listen to all 50. It's been fabulous. Like a family I was looking forward to. Even if I've heard Yorma's jokes, stories, two, three, four times, listen to this. G chord, take that. Know them all by heart. It's what mattered to me. Kept me going. 50 concerts, some flashback concerts, some hot tuna. Jack, thank you for showing up. Best of all, my hands don't hurt anymore. Yorma's choice. My hot tuna poster. Thanks for signing it, Yorma. Everybody, love it. Wow, you did it, 50. Amazing, 30 seconds is not long enough to express my gratitude to you, Yorma, Vanessa, and the gang that put this all together to give us an awesome Saturday night for this past year. I am truly grateful. Thank you. See you out there soon. Peace out. Thank you, Yoma. Thank you, Yoma. Yoma, Vanessa, all of you, thank you all so much for all these shows. We spend uh, every Saturday night thank having you. pizza and Yoma parties, mm -hmm. and um, it's meant so much to us, so thank you all so much. A love note to FPR from Gail Weissman, also known as the Den Mother. Thank you, Yoma. Thank you, you, Vanessa. Thank you for a year of free streams. Andy, Myron, John, Hurlbut, too, and the rest of the FPR crew, including Izzy and Jack and Chester. You made us all happy while the pandemic raged. We know you got to end it now and turn the page. Thank you, oh, thank you. Thank you for a year of free streams. Yoma, Vanessa, Izzy, John, Myron, Andy, the entire Fur Peace Ranch family, thank you so much for this past year. Creating a connection with all the music and the people that we so dearly love has been extremely meaningful, and I love you guys. Good morning. Um, greetings from El Paso, Texas. An amazingly large thank you to Yorma, Jack, Vanessa, and the whole Fur Peace Ranch family. As someone who suffers several major chronic ailments that came out of remission at the beginning of the pandemic, the Quarantine Concert Series has been my touchstone. Thank you all. You've kept me going and lots of love and peace to the Peace Fur Ranch. Hello to Yorma, Jack, John, Vanessa, and the rest of the crew at the Fur Peace Ranch. 
We just want to tell you how much we appreciate your generosity in providing such great music and shows on a weekly basis for us. What did it mean to us? It meant everything. Every Saturday night, we had a date at 5 o'clock Pacific time right here in our living room with live music or a great vault show. Indeed, we've loved it. Take care of yourselves. Peace and love. Hey, Yorma. Thank you so much for these shows. They were a godsend, and it was appointment television for me week after week. I never missed a show. You shouted out vampire women to me one week after I wrote in, and I'm just deeply indebted. Thank you so much for getting me through such a challenging time, and it created a big bonding experience with my younger son. He was here visiting during one of the shows, and he's become a huge fan, and we can't wait to see you live together. Thank you so, so much. No hesitation here, letting you guys know how much your quarantine concerts gave us some calm during the COVID storm. Thanks so much, guys. We love you. Hi, Fur Peace Ranch. Adele here from Ontario, Canada. I just wanted to say thank you so much for your quarantine series. It was a shining light in a dark pandemic time, and it was the highlight of my week. I mean, listening to Yorma and John and everybody play, it was just, uh, it was a real treat. And getting to know everyone in the chat, Brother Bill, John Walls, Mel, Gail, everybody, it was a real pleasure and an honor, and I thank you. Bye. Hey, my name is Clay, and I went to my first Hot Tuna show in 1971. Yorma's music and lyrics have always touched me deeply, and with these quarantine shows, it's been great getting to know everyone. Vanessa, John, Izzy, it's just been incredible. And I took a trip 2,000 miles from Seattle to be at this last one. It was on my bucket list, so here I am. Thanks, Yorma, and everyone. Hello from South Africa. Thank you very much, Dorma, and everybody at Fur Peach Ranch, and hi, all of you on the chat. Bye. So I'm mainly a jazz musician. Uh, I hadn't really checked out a lot of, you know, folk rock, country rock. Um, I grew up on classic rock. My dad is a huge classic rock, bluegrass, every, really everything fan. But he turned me on to the quarantine concerts uh, in late December, early January, and I've been hooked since then. It's completely changed my outlook on music. It's con it's changed what I've listened to as a musician. Uh, it's changed how I play music. Uh, I really look forward to watching it every week. Uh, it really, I just love the musicianship. I love the genuinity of the whole thing. I love John and Yorma's collaborations too. It just, it, it comes from the heart. And, and I mean, my God, Yorma is just such an amazing guitarist. It is, it's, it's so inspiring to watch him play. Uh, this is longer than 30 seconds. I hope you include it, but just want to say thanks so much, Yorma, and everyone at Furpiece Ranch. Hey there, everybody out there in Radio Dream Streamland. This is Barry Dobrin. Uh, my favorite things about the quarantine concert experience was everything from the live chats, meeting all new people, making friends, getting to talk to Yorma, which was awesome. John and Yorma bringing out the best in each other. That was a great part of the show. Watching Izzy and Myron, uh, wow, awesome. And Vanessa for putting this all together. Thank you so much, all of you at the Fur Peace Ranch. I love you all. Thanks for bringing sanity to a crazy year. Love yous. It was like sitting around a campfire and hearing great stories and listening to great music at a time when we really couldn't socialize because of COVID. It was wonderful. Thank you. I want to say thank you to everybody at the Fur Peace Ranch. Thank you, Yorma, Vanessa, John Hurlbutt, everybody at the ranch for doing this. One of the things I did this year, two good things. I listened to as many quarantine concerts with Yorma and I took up guitar. Thank you. Love you. What's the best thing about the quarantine concert series from Fur Peace Ranch? Well, a lot of people say that it's the music. This is true. The musicians, the funny jokes, the great reminiscence, the people involved, all that is true. But to me, the most important thing would have to be 
that it's the perfect prelude to watching Sven Gulli every Saturday night. Yikes. Hey everybody. I'm lucky enough to have a ticket for number 50. But the past year of Saturday evening broadcast from Fur Peace Ranch has elevated my spirit and helped me beat depression. I'm sat right here beneath this George Frayne painting, listening to the music I love, enjoying the questions to Yorma and the stage banner with Vanessa and the rest of the crew. Thank you so much for doing these. Love you. Peace. Starting in 1971, I'm pretty sure I've seen Yorma in concert at least 50 times. And thanks to the quarantine concerts, all of which I've attended, I feel like we're old friends, even though we've never met. It's been a terrible year, but you've certainly brought a, a great deal of happiness to all of us. And thank you very, very much, Vanessa and Yorma, for everything you've done this past pandemic year. All the best to you. Look forward to seeing you back out on the road. Yorma, Vanessa, and crew, howdy from the Great Falls, Virginia branch of Radio Dream Streamland. I didn't even know there was a Radio Dream Streamland until the quarantine concerts. I've attended all 50 of the concerts and they've been especially meaningful to me because Yorma has been my favorite guitar player since I was a high schooler back in the 1960s. So thank you for everything and I hope to see you down the road when you're back here in the DC area. Greetings fellow Yormites. Let us get together right down here and enjoy number 50. Thank you Yorma, Jack, Ness, and all the Fur Peace Ranch folks that made it possible. Don't know how we got through this 50 without you, and not sure what we're going to do next week when there's no 51. But thanks again. It's been so great. Y'all great. Hi. I'd like to thank Yorma for his exceptional insight to his songs and his songwriting and his history. I'd also like to thank John and Jack and Vanessa and crew. It's been a great year. Thank you. Hey, Yorma. This is Rich LaPietri from live from my garage in Rockville Center, New York, uh, about a mile from the Rockville Cemetery, where uh, the final resting place for the Reverend Gary Davis. And uh, I want to thank you for the quarantine concerts, as well as everyone who helped out, Vanessa, John, because it gave me something to look forward to uh, during the pandemic, and it connected me to my two trips to the Fur Peace Ranch in. Uh, October of 2018 to 2020. Hello, Yorma. Hello, Vanessa. Hi to everybody out at the ranch. Thank you all for your brilliance, your generosity for a year full of Saturday nights. It's, it's hard to imagine what the last year would have been without you, and I'm still wondering how I'm going to handle the withdrawal. I guess I'll be relying on a lot of the recordings, and I look forward to seeing uh, Yorma and John in Connecticut in July to thank you in person. And... Um, Look forward to seeing you then. Thanks. Hi, my name is Bob Sinclair, and I'm fairly new to the Fur Peace Ranch family. As it turns out, the timing couldn't have been any better. When COVID-19 hit last March and much of the world shut down, Yorma and the entire staff at Fur Peace jumped right into action. They started the weekly quarantine concert series. It came every Saturday night at 8 o'clock, like clockwork, and it became something to look forward to. It actually became a bright spot in, in an otherwise dark time. So, much appreciation, many thanks to Yorma, to Vanessa, the entire staff at Fur Peace. Uh, it really meant a lot to us and we really appreciate what you did. Thank you so much. Hey, Yorma and FPR, Chappie here. Look forward to the live music every Saturday night. Love the collaborations with Hurl and Myron and uh, love Yorma's stories, people he's met, places he's been. Keep on trucking, take care, bye. Hello, Fur Peace Ranch. Thank you for all the hard work you guys did making our quarantine amazing, especially Saturday nights and all the rewatches that we did. Yay. And I learned how to iron my beard. <laughs> Thank you. And love you guys. Peace. I just want to thank Yorma, Vanessa, John, Jack, all of you for putting this together for the last year, year and a half. Got us through some real tough times. We appreciate it. The stories, the songs, it was something to look forward to every Saturday. My wife and I loved it. We're gonna see you here in a couple of weeks is Hot Tuna. Until then, I'm gonna spend my time trying to bite my own ear.
God bless you. Hey, I just wanted to say thank you to Yorma and Vanessa and the whole Bird Peace Ranch crew uh, for putting on the quarantine concerts. It's been a wonderful experience. I feel like it's kind of like that Saturday uh, gathering around the radio in days of old, but instead we're, you know, gathering around the chat and watching a wonderful show and hearing our favorite musician and songs. And, you know, we, I think it's really great. So thanks again. The quarantine concerts are how I knew when it was Saturday. I was lucky to catch the first one live and made it a priority to catch almost all of them live. I text with my friends in other parts of the country with our excitement before, our amazement during, and our gratitude after each show. It kept us connected during the lockdown. The shows were always magical, each better than the last. I always loved when Yorma played Genesis or John sang Somebody's Calling as it made me think of my daddy. Thank you for Peace Ranch. The quarantine concert series has meant so much to me. Each week I look forward to another show with Yorma, Vanessa, and the good folks at the Fur Peace Ranch. It made me forget there was a pandemic outside my door because I was able to be up close and personal with my favorite guitarist and his family. Thank you. Hey, hello there. Remember what Bob Marley used to sing? One good thing about music, when it hits you, you feel no pain. Well, since the pandemic started, it's been a very hard time for many people all around the world. So many great people that we've lost, families and friends grieving and suffering and crying. So to tell you what the quarantine shows meant to me, let me put it like this. One good thing about Yorma, when he plays, there's no drama. Of course, this also works for Hot Tuna. It's all about sharing and loving and getting together. So from Paris, I want to say merci, a very big thank you to all the wonderful team at the Fur Peace Ranch. Thanks a million for the 50 shows. Hey, Yorma, Vanessa, Fur Peace, George here in Long Island. Hey, the quarantine shows meant everything. My wife and son also big fans. Even got my mom to sing This Land Is Your Land during quarantine. The body of music is amazing, but the stories were wonderful. And chatting with like-minded folks like Carlo in Italy during Great Divide Revisited. Fabulous. Is he singing? All good. Thank you so much. Hey folks, this is Mitch Olster. Just expressing my heartfelt gratitude and appreciation for this past year. Listening to Yorma and Friends. This here is Bertha, by the way. She's been watching the shows with us. And all I can say is keep on trucking. Look forward to many more years of good music and fun. Hey, hey everybody. Yorma and uh, Vanessa and Earl and Myron and Izzy and Jack. I just want to thank you so much for the past 50 shows. Plus, they've been absolutely fantastic. The best thing ever. I can't wait to get out to Fur Peace Ranch and take it to the next level. Thank you.